Okay, today we're going to be looking at uh, tactics, uh, which is uh, moves that bring short-term benefits, and that's a term used in abstract strategy games, and um, the most uh, popular ones that most people are familiar with is the ones from chess, uh, and what's interesting about the game of tops is that it uses the same ones from chess, um, but they look different, It's it's and, and they... Um, they just have a different look because the pieces are captured uniquely in this game. And um, uh, but what else is interesting is that um, this game uh, has tactics that are only just unique to this game and not to uh, uh, you know doesn't have an equal in, in chess. So um, and that's the first one I'm going to start with actually and I sort of removed all the pieces from the board so it's a little easier to see the illustrations and um, this first tactic is uh, is a double capture and once again it's unique to the game of top and um, all of these tactics too you, you can either do in any version of the game in any rule set edge edge rules or corner rules and any size board and things so um, let me just show so this would be a double capture and so the, both of these guys would be gone. Because, um, you know, normally it would just be that, but when he's got two, this this piece is called, uh, would be called the hammer piece. That would be the technical term for it in this situation. And this um, this piece would be the anvil because it, it stays still, and then this guy is supposed to hit. You know, so that's hammer and anvil uh, action. And you can have it also be... Um, Yeah, you can. Okay, you can keep it the same here, and then also something like this. Okay, and then so it could be like this too. That's also a double capture, and then these two guys are gone. And then you could also have, you could also have another one as a triple capture. See, in chess, you can only capture one piece at a time, but in this game, you can actually capture several pieces at a time, and that would be uh, triple capture, capturing three. You always want to be careful when you're doing that. You don't want to, um, you know, you got to do it at the right time. Sometimes it can hurt you to, to capture uh, two pieces, you know, if you're opening files up that you shouldn't be opening up. But there are other times when it's, it is, you do want to do it. Um, let's see. The next thing is where um, it's called the fork, and that does come from chess, and that's where... And again, you can do it either on edge rules or corner rules. It doesn't matter. You can fork in both games. Um, I'm just putting this tactical video in this series because this is the version I think that that's most popular right now. Um, even though I don't play corner rules uh, as much as edge escape. Uh, let's see. Okay, so fork would be something. You know, this guy can be here, and then. Um, have a piece here, and like another piece here, and you know, like a guy here, maybe a guy here, something like that. And so it's on his move here. He's now he's now forking. He's attacking these two at the same time, and so um, basically, if he moves one, then the others the others going to get taken, and then if he moves this one, then this one's going to be taken. So. Um, that's a fork. That's a simultaneous attack on two or more pieces. Um, and then the next one is called the pin. And that also comes from chess. And you can use it in edge escape or corner corner escape rules here. And that might be something like this. Um, this one. This one. Uh, let's see. And like maybe something like this or something. Um, that's where a piece is defending another one, like this guy's defending him, um, you know, by being next to it, um, uh, supporting him, and then when the defending piece moves away somewhere, um, then the piece that he was protecting is captured, so, so, uh, see, you, you could say that this guy was pinned, because, he can't move. If he's got another move that you want him to do, you have to sort of decide between the two the two moves. And is it better for him to play 
positionally somewhere else and just go ahead and lose this guy or or what what what's the better move so uh so that's a tactic called the pin and uh, there's other versions of the pin too um also in both rule sets the edge escape and corner escape there's one where it involves like the king where um the king's maybe sur surrounded by uh three men on the opposing side and but then he's the fourth side's like a defender so now this guy's pinned so now he's pinned because if uh you know because if, if he moves like this then then it's gonna be the game's over so um so now it's in this situation where the other guy's pinned um Let's see. Then there's then there's one that's really unique to uh, to playing to the edge, and um, that's also involves the king. It's when the king only has uh, one opposing piece between him and the ed edge. You know, one of the edges. Let's say um, I don't know. There's pieces over here somewhere. Just just everything else is blocked. Let's say. This could be wider, but basically, basically on on this edge here, he's only got one piece um, blocking in there. So, um, you know, so then this piece would be pinned now, <clears throat> because see, when when he moves, then the, then now the game would be over. So that's another that's another form of the pin there. Um, he also can't let it get captured, you know, if he have does like this and he he really has to do something to prevent him from being captured because um when he, when he's gone then hopefully he's got even more people that he could play but um let's see and then whenever you're in the situation of being pinned um uh you know i guess like that first one i i used uh you know something like this um ways to get out of it you can either you know uh you know capture capture uh you know ca try and try and capture to get out of it so so then he's not pinned anymore or um or just at least just attack the pinning piece you know just attack him by just placing a piece next to him now he's in danger so those are ways that you can get out of it there's Another, let's see, another chess tactic would be um, the discovered attack. And that can be on both forms of the game, either the edge play or corner play. Um, both of them use it. And that's where um, you're moving a piece so that a piece that didn't move is in an attacking position. So, uh, let's say you had this here, then like the king, and then you had... This one, and then like this one, um, and then like you know, there's other pieces around, and the king, the king moves. Then, uh, you know, so so that would be see the moving piece um, uh, moved, so that a piece that didn't move. Um, uh, is in an attacking position to see so now he he can come in like that so it doesn't have to be the king could have been another white piece but you get the point uh, so that's a discovered attack because you know it's attacking but it, he's not attacking anyone actually another tactic would would be if the king did start to attack somebody let's say that uh, you know you had you had this something like this and then now that that is this is called a double attack, because because now two pieces are being attacked. You know, from a, it's it's a form of discovered attack. Now this one's discovered, and now this one is is in fear of uh, being attacked too. So um, that that's another chess tactic. Um, then there's discovered check, and that one is very unique to playing to the edge, edge rules, edge top. And this is actually how most people will lose the game, um, how beginners will lose the game, and how this 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 concept is really why uh, so many beginners think that the game's on un unbalanced when playing to the edge, but it, when it really isn't. 
Um, discover check is where you move a piece away that was blocking the king. So, like, if, you know, there's pieces everywhere all around here. And, you know, the king has this. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe... Maybe he's being, they're usually lured away. He doesn't, there's so many pieces around and he just doesn't catch it. He tries to attack that. Well, now he just opened up. This, that's a, so this would be a discovered, a discovered uh, check when he, you know, when he moves, oh, when he moved away. That's a discovered check. Um, there's another form of discovered check. That's when, um, uh, the blocking piece was captured by defenders, so you know, um, you know, something like that happened. So now it's a discovered check. See, the king, the king, the king didn't move into check. You know, if he moved here and he was moved into check, he's just sitting there still. So when when this guy gets caught, now it's discovered. He's discovering this check. <clears throat> so those are the two different forms of discovered checks. Um. um and then sacrifices is another one. That's the most popular one in, in, in top is sacrifices. And I've covered that so much throughout all my series that uh, there's no need to, to go over it again. But that that is the most common one. Um, the last one would be a decoy. And a decoy is where you get an opponent to open up a file by moving a piece off of it. Um, uh, you know, to, so that it captures the decoy. You know, you had... Um, Usually it's when white does it. So, you know, you have a bunch of pieces down here. And, um, I don't know. They're just down here somewhere. And, um, you know, you hit, um, uh, let's see, it's just, I don't know, something. And, and then this guy goes up to make a capture because you have a decoy and, you know, he goes to capture somebody, and then he's left this this last row open. So you know, it goes like so. Then he, if you're playing to the corner, it'd be that. Uh, that that one is you really got to watch out for in playing to the edge because a lot of people forget that an open row is is the game's over. So when he moves to an open row like this, and you're playing to the edge, then he, he's uh, you know he's already, he's already won, and in the corner on that row actually. But you know, if it was like this one on edge game, so. A decoy would be where you where you get get your opponent to open up a file, completely open it up where there's no no pieces on it, so that the king can move there and win the game. <clears throat> That's a decoy. So um, the last video I'm going to make after this one is just going to be kind of an analysis and a little bit of, of critique of uh, corner play, and that should wrap up all my uh, videos on the game of top.